Hello, it's day 40 and today in our New Testament reading we're in Matthew 26 and it's in this run up to the cross and this the really sort of sorrowful, painful picture of Gethsemane. But not only that, just before that where Jesus talks about the fact that all of his followers are going to be scattered and Peter again makes this sort of assertion, you know, even if everyone else um, falls away, I'm never going to do that. And Jesus, of course, knows exactly what Peter's going to do. He knows the extent of Peter's betrayal. He knows that, and we're coming on to this, that, that Peter is going to vehemently deny even being associated with Jesus. And he even says that, you know, I tell you, that even before the night is over, even before the cock crows, you're going to deny me three times. You're going to disown me. And um, And yet, having said that, Jesus then takes Peter into this into probably one of his most vulnerable places this time in Gethsemane where he's it, it's literally the cross is right before him Jesus is um, overwhelmed with sorrow and agony and he takes Peter there he takes Peter into that place he doesn't punish him he doesn't hold him at arm's length he doesn't um sort of disown him before Peter can disown him that is a picture of human love we've seen that in varying ways in our lives we know um what it's like when people push us away or indeed when we push other people away but this is not what we see of God in Jesus here and sometimes we can spend our times getting caught up on you know Jesus I've let you down or I've not done this or I've not lived like this and it's right for us to repent and Peter will get on with that when the right time comes but sometimes what we imagine is that Jesus would keep us in at arm's length because not only does he know our past failures but he also knows the ways in which we're going to let him down in the future which of course is true we're, we're human we are going to um, we're going to fail we're going to make mistakes we are going to sin and yet Jesus in the in the moment in every moment doesn't keep us at arm's length but draws us in and, and holds us in close relationship with him I love the line um, that it just says so simply after I've risen I'm going to go ahead of you to Galilee and it's a promise that we can know of Jesus um, now today in that not only does he hold us close he takes us in into a place of vulnerability and intimate relationship with him but not only that but he also says I'm also going to go ahead of you I go before you I know what is to come he knows the future he knows exactly what lies ahead all the ways that we're going to succeed if we can call it that all the ways that we're going to fail he knows it all and he says I'm with you in this moment with all your failings with all your weaknesses with all your struggles Peter was falling asleep right when Jesus needed him the most right in all of that I stay with you I do the present with you but I also go before you into the future and you'll find me there even as you find me here now I hope that's of encouragement to you today have a good day I'll see you again tomorrow God bless